um y'all who puts a zipper right here anyway <laughs> YouTube my name is Jazz welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a try on haul of the newest Ivy Park drop which was called Ivy Heart if you've been watching my channel for a while you know we do this we do this every time she drops something I mean every time I am going to link a playlist up above of all the other try on hauls I have done in the past but for this particular collection it was a Valentine's Day theme I also think that she was trying to pay homage to the Lunar New Year that they celebrate in China so that's why this collection has so much red in it. I will be honest, I was pretty upset that it dropped as late as it did, but I'm happy that all of my stuff came before Valentine's Day. So for this particular haul, I'm gonna be trying all the items. I'm also gonna review on the items, and I'm also gonna be showing you other ways that you can style your pieces that you did get, just so you can have more longevity out of your collection, like we do every time. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, then just keep on watching. All right, y'all, let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that we all know Ivy Park sizing is way off. I did get various sizes throughout this particular collection and that's because I wanted things to fit a certain way. The athleisure wear or like the leggings and things, I got in the medium, but like for the shirt and the jumpsuit, I actually got a small. I'm hoping everything fits the way that I need it to. I don't really like having on like makeup when I do a try on haul just in case something don't fit and I mess it up, but I thought since this collection had all red and it's Valentine's Day, I was like, let me get cute for the girls. Let me get cute. So the first thing I'm gonna try on is this. This is like the snakeskin legging set. Okay, I'll tell you what I thought about this when I first saw it. I wasn't gonna get it, period. I was like, nope, I ain't. I do snake skin, but not in red. And then I saw Karuchi model it. I said, got to be mine in my closet ASAP. So, if you look at some of the pieces, I'm gonna do it up close so y'all can see it, but for the bra, let me get this. But for the bra, this is what it looks like. This is a size medium, like I told y'all. The back does have Ivy Park engraving here. The straps are adjustable. It also has mesh on the inside and it does have cups in the bra for support and you can pull the cups out if you need to if you don't want that support there also here's the leggings now i did think the leggings was cute i'm not even gonna front i thought the leggings was cute but this is what the leggings look like it does have the pink stripe detailing on the side and honestly i'm not a real fan of pink if you've been watching my channel you know that but for some reason this works I normally wouldn't put red and pink together, but for some reason this works. So let me go ahead and try this on for y'all so y'all can see how this looks on me. All right, y'all, so this is how the set looks on me. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is fire. <laughs> I love it, like, like I said, I wasn't really too fond of the snake skin print, but for some reason this, this was giving. I, I really like it. So as you can see, this is high-waisted. Um, it does have the pink detailing here as well as this is how it looks in the back the bra is so comfortable y'all so i know I, I don't really have a lot but if y'all want reference i am like a c a 34c so this is how the medium looks on me in 34c but y'all it feels so good this gives just the right amount of mm, for the girls to show a little bit but y'all i love this I did not purchase any of the shoes though. So when I wear this, I probably just wear like my black Adidas or something. But I love this. I think this is so cute. I, I'm happy I got it. So the next thing I'm gonna try on is this. Now y'all, when I saw this, <laughs> I was like, Jazz, what you gonna do with this heart shirt? Like, what you gonna do with it? But you know, I like quirky, kind of funny things, and I thought this was just, you know, very holiday themed. So I went ahead and got it. For the details on it, you see the hearts, and y'all know where that's placed. I can't say that, but y'all know where it's placed. Uh, but it's right here. It does have the three stripes right here. And the color of the three stripes is kind of a different color than the shirt. So I would say this is like a true red while the three stripes is like a tomato red. That's just my opinion. 
um, the back does have the Ivy Park embroidered there. So let me go ahead and try this on for y'all so we can see how this looks. And I'm gonna keep the tights on just because uh, somebody may wanna see how this will look on top of these tights. So let me try this on for y'all. All right, so this is how the shirt looks on me. Y'all, this shirt is so cute. Like, I don't know, I, I just really like it, but this is how it looks. I did tell y'all earlier, I got this in a size small. A lot of times with the crop tops, they fit oversized. So I try to get a smaller size than what I actually wear when it comes down to getting these, but I did get this in a small and it feels really good. The only problem I had with it was getting it over my head, but you know, my head might be swollen today. But anyways, this is what the crop top looks like on me with the three stripes here. If I was gonna wear this, I mean, I think you could dress this up or dress this down. Um, I, for this video, I'm going to dress it down. I do think this would look really cute with like some light jeans. So I am gonna go ahead and show y'all what this would look like if I wanted to wear it out or like, you know, just have it on around the house on Valentine's Day just to give y'all an option. So let me show y'all that. This is how this top would look paired with some light jeans. I do think that this shirt probably would look good with any color jeans, light, dark, black. I think that, you know, like if you had like some red sneakers or something like that, you could put that on with this as well to make it like a super casual look. But we all know I'm gonna try to put some heels on with it. So let me show you how I would do with the heels um, for this outfit. So this is how this top would look with some red heels on with some jeans. I think that if I was gonna wear this, it probably wouldn't be out with my man. It would probably be out like, you know how some people do Galentine's Day. I think I probably wear this to a Galentine's event versus being out with my man. I do think that this top could be worn to a Valentine's Day event just because of, you know, the situation that you got going on right here. To be honest, it's super cute. Like, I really like it, I really do. Next thing I'm gonna show y'all is actually these tights. Y'all, I was hesitant to get these tights uh, only because I just knew that I wouldn't get that much wear out of them because they are really, really uh, festive, really, really Valentine's Day thing. But I just, I couldn't pass up on the fact that it said be mine on the back. I just thought that that was so different and, and sexy. It was kind of giving me the vibes of like, y'all know when Savage X Fenty came out with those stockings that had her name written down the side this was giving me those kind of vibes and so i was like yep gotta have it in my closet so but to show y'all some of the detailing here is the ivy part on the back it does have a mesh pocket on this side it has adidas in the mesh on one leg and the b right here um you know that's for beyonce's name so it's just a b there and for the other side, it has the mine. So I just thought that was super cute. I'm going to go ahead and try these on with this shirt, just if y'all wanted to see how that would look, and I'll come back. All right, y'all, so this is how the Be Mine tights look with the um, crop top, and you can really see the color difference between the top and the leggings once you put it together like this. But like I said, I feel like this, top is more of a true red color while the stripes here is the tomato red so i'm really going to say that i think that the stripes on this top and the leggings actually match so i mean i guess if you want to be picky i mean it does make this match as an outfit but i still don't like the difference of the colors but this is how this would look with the crop top this is how this looks in the back I'm not even sure if y'all can see the Be Mine because I don't know if the camera will focus down for a minute. But if I was gonna wear these tights, I would probably wear them like in a dressed up fashion. And that's because like I just said, it was giving me the vibes of the Savage X Fenty tights. So I would try to maybe like dress this up and make this sexy. So let me show y'all how I would wear these tights. And it ain't to the gym, honey. I won't wear these tights to the gym. So if I was gonna wear the tights out, like I said, it would be like a date night vibe if I did do it. But this is something like I would wear. Maybe not exactly, but I do know that I did like this lingerie looking top on top of these leggings just because of the, you know, it's Valentine's Day. You wanna look sexy, but still look presentable in public. But for the shoes, 
I'm putting on red bottoms. And that's just because, I mean, why not? Why not? Why not have on the red bottoms with these tights, with this and this hat, and just be cute going out the door with your man? I just think this it looks so cute. I'm here for it. Like, for real. I think this is so cute. Hopefully y'all can see this be mine on the back. Um, if not, I mean, I hope y'all can see that. But yeah, this is how I would style this. So the last thing I'm gonna put on is what everybody was going crazy over on the internet. Like, I wasn't even checking for this collection until I saw the jumpsuit. I was like, oh my gosh. You gotta get it. You have got to get that jumpsuit. Anybody who knows Jazz knows Jazz loves jumpsuits, everything about jumpsuits. You ain't gotta think about no top, you ain't gotta think about no bottom. You just put out the jumpsuit and dress it up and you be out the door. But this jumpsuit right here was screaming my name. So let me change out of this to get a little more comfortable then we can talk about the detail of the jumpsuit. Okay y'all, so now that I'm a little more comfortable, let's go ahead and talk about this jumpsuit. So here she is, y'all. Ooh, woo! This thing right here, bad. That's it. That's how you describe it, bad. So just to kind of show y'all some of the detailing, this does have, let me come closer. It does have a belt. One good thing about this belt is that you can remove it. When I saw it online, um, you know, when they did the modeling, I wasn't sure if this could be removed or not. And I was very happy to see that it could be removed um this is going to be a thick jumpsuit like this material i kind of want to describe it like scuba material i was not expecting for this material to be this thick but you know come through with the quality i guess um it does have the shoulder pads they're very pronounced in this jumpsuit as well as this is what the back looks like um as of right now i think these are fake pockets i think these are just like the faux pockets or whatever um, and it does have the pink stripes going down the side. I told y'all earlier, I was not really a fan of pink and red together, but for some reason this works. Um, and it does have a zipper closure here. So let me go ahead and try this on for y'all. Um, y'all, I'm gonna be 100. I can't even zip this up, like. <laughs> All jokes aside, I can't even zip this up. Like, I'm so, when I tell y'all, I'm so heartbroken by this. Like, this, okay, so just to put it out there, I got a small because I wanted it to, like, fit tight. But I didn't think I wasn't going to be able to zip this thing up at all. Like, that's crazy to me. This right here has zero stretch. And, yeah, like, when I was zipping it up, the zipper was like, it was a mess, okay? It was a whole mess. So therefore, I ain't even finna fight with this jumpsuit. It's going back. I, I can't. So I don't even know if getting a size medium would help because it has zero stretch. I refuse to think that I would need a large. And I wear size four six. And according to the website, a size small should fit a four six. But who puts a zipper, like who puts a zipper right here anyway? So like, I feel like normally if you're gonna have a jumpsuit, the zipper should be on the side or on the back. It shouldn't be in the front where, let's say you go eat and you may have a food baby. You know, like your stomach may poke out. So now my zipper is gonna bust open I just think, you know, for the jumpsuit to be as cute as it is, the craftsmanship of it is made very poor because there is no reason as to why you got a zipper right here. But to kill out of that, I can't zip this thing. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like, I wanted this thing to fit. I really did, but it doesn't. So, yeah. Anyways, this is how it look in the back. And if you want to look at it for what it is, the shoulders, I mean, they look cute on Beyonce, but this kind of giving me like, I don't know, like Devil Spikes vibes. I don't know. Yeah. 
that is it for my try on haul y'all i can't tell you how disappointed i am that that jumpsuit does not fit i mean i think out of all my ivy park try on hauls this one probably was the most difficult because i really wanted that jumpsuit to fit and the fact that it doesn't really just ruin my mood like anyways but for the things that did fit i really do like the crop top shirt i thought that, that was super cute the red snakeskin leggings with the top that's super cute as well i also do like the be my leggings as well but the main reason why i even bought anything from this collection is because i really wanted the jumpsuit and for that not to fit y'all i don't know but you know i try to always keep it 100 on my channel so that's what happened while i was trying it on so yeah <laughs> if you're gonna get that please just be mindful that it does not have any stretch I would probably size up for that one. I, I probably would, even though I sized down just a tad bit, thinking that, you know, it would fit perfectly. It actually did not fit at all, like at all. And let me know out of which, you know, of the outfits I was able to try on that you liked the best. I know I didn't really have a lot of options this time was because I really didn't want to get a lot from this collection just because it was just red. And I like red because I'm a Delta, but, but sometimes when you have things that are just really monochromatic and like, especially for holiday themes, I just didn't want to get that much. But if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified every time I post something so you don't miss something. And I will see y'all in my next video.